Hey, what's up everyone? Gamal Kadner here. You are getting ready to watch uh, Day in the Life, Day in the Weekend, Behind the Scenes, whatever you want to call it, of something that happened actually a couple weeks back. Um, but I'm just recording the intro right now. As we're getting ready to upload it on YouTube, I realized I actually never recorded an intro. But we just had so much dope footage from the weekend in Atlanta, hanging out with our high six and seven figure founders that we coach in our mastermind. We just had to put it together in a video. So it's some really cool stuff. Um, interviews, Porsches, just hanging out, dinner. It was a really cool weekend. So I hope you enjoy. Watch it and let me know in the comments what you think, all right? What's going on, YouTube? Uh, we are in Atlanta, we're visiting here, and we're about to go check out this super dope entrepreneur. Uh, she's the founder of Ecom Spaces. They're a third-party fulfillment company. They ship out products for customers. A bunch of my past clients um, use them to ship their products. They do an amazing job. And the funny thing is, I actually visited her a long time ago before we before we were pretty much a brand. I don't think she's gonna remember that we, we talked before. So we'll see. So you don't know, but I came here a long time ago before I started I started my brand and to tour because I was trying to figure out mm -hmm. shipping, right? I knew nothing about that. All I knew was this marketing. Mm -hmm. And so I toured here and you guys have I like I like the upgrades. Mm -hmm. But you don't you don't remember that. I don't even remember. Oh my god, this is insane. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding beautiful. So I guess it was meant to be so you can see the transformation. For sure. Everyone focuses on marketing, but that's just one leg of a three legged stool, right? If you blow up and you get 5,000 new customers, how are you going to ship to them? How are you going to get the money to buy your products? How are you going to um, have systems so you're not working 12 hour days? And so all these other components are things that we talk to founders about. And so I wanted to link up with you because shipping is a big problem. It is a big problem. And so I came here before and I've heard amazing things about your service. Oh they say you are as fast as Amazon. Yes, we are. Yeah. And, and you're affordable for a regular person. So that's unheard of, right? And yeah. so like how many how many clients do you think you ship for? Now? So we have about, I would say 60, 70 clients. And we're trying to have a mix of everything. We might have people who ship like maybe 10 orders a month. And we have some people who ship like thousands of orders a day. So it's very different, but we want to be able to help small, small people to grow. Because once you have the shipping figure it out, well, you have time to focus on the other stuff. So all the founders in my program, if you're looking for a good uh, fulfillment, outsourced fulfillment center, um, we're going to be working on some stuff to get you guys some good deals. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go on a tour. <laughs> Welcome to the Gamal Kotner Podcast. So this is a new thing we're doing. We're launching a new YouTube channel. So this is gonna come somewhere in the middle of the video. But like, subscribe, notification, comment, all that other stuff with the video, right? I forgot to say that earlier, but do that too. This is just something that we're doing now to just talk to actual practical folks. Not to say that a lot of the folks in the internet don't know what they're talking about, but a lot of the folks on the internet are talking and giving advice in theory. One of the big differences I want to do is give perspective from people who are actually doing the day-to-day, -day. people like myself, people like Marie, who are living it every single day because that's the real experience. And folks like us will be more honest about the ups and the downs. And it's really protecting yourself from the downs that help you become a longer and better lasting company. So I would like to thank Ecom Spaces for having us today. And we look forward to doing a lot more stuff with you. Any closing words for the camera? Well, no matter how hard it gets, if you have a dream, keep going, but you have to go smart. So the person for that. That would be me. That would be him. I can help you grow. We are at a studio in Atlanta with the shooter Bashir. Uh, we're capturing some content for 
whenever we're featured on the front cover of Forbes, right? So if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. So we're putting it into the universe here, right? The other shooter German says I have to be, I have to manifest, I have to be optimistic. So he has a little point here. So we're planning for the future and we're ready. So when that, when that uh, article comes, we're already ready, right? Because it's gonna come now. Gonna come. Guys, I made a horrible mistake. I'm here doing my future photo shoot for Forbes and I left the Rolex at the house. It's all right, guys. Rolexes don't make you the person you are. The person you are makes you a Rolex. That was fake me, but you get what I'm saying. How do you feel? Great. A little, um, unnatural because I haven't done this in a while. She's the pro. I'm the rookie. So I'm just taking instruction from her. That's how all our stuff goes. We got to take a million shoots when we go out to dinner. Maybe one of my pictures right over there. One. That's why. What's up everyone? Boom all again. And I am here with famous, super famous celebrity, Ecom founder, Black Media founder, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I'll have, I'll have her introduce herself because I'm not gonna do it justice. Who are you? What do you do for everyone living under a rock? Oh, I'm not gonna do me justice because <laughs> I'm too humble for that. <laughs> so we'll just say I'm Nicole Kane, most known for being a celebrity gossip blogger, NicoleBitchy.com. But then I ventured into media with um, XOnNicole.com. And now I am an e-com founder, founder of the Period Relief All Natural Supplement, My Happy Flow. Came over to the dark side. Uh, the, let me tell you, I say this all the time. I thought I knew business. I knew how to build brands. I didn't know business. And communities. Amazing. And communities. I did not know business until I got to e-commerce. What just happened? The light just turned on. It's all right. Keep rolling. This is this is all. <laughs> this is all in here. You moved and you got it. Look at him turning on. <laughs> light switch. It's movement. Oh, okay. Well, what's but where is the move? A lot of people do that though. They have like they get into e-com, but really e-com is a hard business to get into. You gotta know your numbers. You gotta understand cash flow, margin, supply chain. But if you figure that out, it makes a lot of sense because you could build something without you being the face of it. For sure. So you get back your time. Up front is hard work, but you get back your time. And in the long run, you could sell your business, which is what I'm all about. So, mm -hmm. so that's good. So I cut you off though. Ecom sucks because you thought you knew business, but now you have to learn business. Oh no, it's it's great learning business. I thought I knew it before, but now it's just, I mean, e-commerce, you know, it's a different, and, and I'm talking about e-commerce, like, you know, you got drop shipping in e-commerce, but then you have the actual- Brand building. Yeah, brand building, and you have to have inventory in, that type of e-commerce, and that's the e-commerce I'm in. I think when people see like influencers or, or people they deem to be celebrities or whatever, well-known jump into a space like this, the first thing they think is that I partnered with like some big white pharmaceutical, well, natural supplement company, and they're using me as just the face. And I want people to know I built this from the ground up. <laughs> all the headaches, all the all crying, the all the long hours. To like lose everything all over again because I believed in it so much, so. Bunch of gems on this. I'm actually super excited to see this come out. But for everyone watching, what are we supposed to do? Like, comment, follow, notifications, all that good stuff. We're gonna chop this yeah. up and put that somewhere earlier. And I just wanna say, cause he's like, what is the big tip? The big tip is knowing the end goal. Like knowing where you're trying, what's the destination? Cause my first few, start. yeah, my first few businesses, I didn't start knowing what my destination was. So I was, it was like a GPS on autopilot to a destination I never chose. Mm, sometimes it could take you someplace you didn't wanna go. Don't. And, and now I know where I want to go and I'm making decisions every day that align with where I want to go. I love it. I got the same principle, like having a North Star. Make yeah, sure all absolutely. your decisions get you to the North Star and not away from it. Absolutely. 
So if you enjoy this, comment below what you liked about it. Any questions, send some love her way. Um, she did not have to stop and do this interview and share so many I things. sure didn't because he dang on sure didn't tell me I was about to be on camera. These are the best interviews though, the unprepared ones, right? And so um, I appreciate you for making yourself available. I appreciate you. It's so funny because I just on this zoo. We are at my in-person mastermind for Exit Blueprint. And Exit Blueprint is pretty much our inner circle where we work with six and seven figure founders who want to take their brand to the next level and learn how to exit their brand one day in the future. But more importantly, deal with the systems and the operations and the capital right now. Essentially, we help founders go from founders to CEOs and we are sharing everything that works. This is a nothing held back room. And we're about to go in right now and get started again. namely help new customers become customers. So I was, I have found that, you know, thinking about type one ways, type two ways, I have found out type two ways. It's like something I was doing that didn't really move the needle. Right. Because I was like, most of these people are past customers. They already know the product. And so I did it. And then I found that um, I had much better success converting people from cold to warm with emails or SMS earlier and then just messaging them to convert. Right, okay. I think just discount is yeah. really what people have been conditioned to look forward to. Day two. We're here on day two of our Exit Blueprint Inner Circle Mastermind, where we have six and seven figure founders and one eight figure founder, just to really go deep into what's going on in their business, what things are keeping them overworked, overwhelmed and burnt out in their business and coming up with real practical, easy to implement solutions so they can go from being overworked founder to thrive in CEO. What's so fun about this mastermind event is that everyone here, they're like-minded founders and they get to meet each other face to face and network, exchange phone numbers and just have someone that can be an accountability partner or just someone to share in their experience with them because entrepreneurship can feel very lonely. So we're so happy to have them with us. Here we have uh, a good friend of mine, a longtime friend of mine, Kenny Conwell, AKA Mr. Money Savvy. I have a very interesting story about Kenny and connection with Kenny because he has seen this whole thing come to life. He was the first person that convinced me or encouraged me to coach and consult other people. And he was actually client number one, right? Yeah. Early in like 2012, 2013, I was maxing out my daily budgets on Facebook ads. So I had a problem where I was converting so well, I needed to spend more money. So I was like, hey, Kenny, can I get access to your ad account? Right, we we're just talking about this, right? So he was like, well, how much would it cost for me to like learn this from you? I'm like, pay me whatever you think is fair. And he gave me a thousand dollars and we took four hours and I literally just taught him campaign ad set, ads, here's what a funnel is, here's creative, here's how you set it up. And Kenny took it and ran with it. And I didn't hear from him again. And he was doing about like 8K-ish a month, right? I think he got to 8K, then when I came to your was doing like 20K. And then you showed me how to like maximize it. Now Kenny's doing obviously a lot more and I don't have, I don't take credit for that. I take credit for introducing Kenny to the dark side of advertising. <laughs> and the thing is that Gamal's not telling you is that he got my Facebook ad account banned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I got my guy, Kenny Conwell here, he came through and blessed us. How was it, bro? It was awesome, man. Connecting with other founders who get it, but also want to take their things to the next level was great. Sharing some really powerful concepts for the community. But I really just want to thank you for being transparent and sharing some stuff. You want to say like what you talked about? Yeah, so the main thing we talked about today was the importance of having a good structure. So many founders and entrepreneurs don't think about the nuances of making sure they're structured correctly from a tax perspective, a legal perspective, and most importantly, a working capital perspective. So we really got into the weeds of that today. And you went deep and we gave real life examples of how you're structured, how mm -hmm. we're structured, mistakes I made when exiting my business, I wish I would have talked to Kenny five years ago. I would have been in a much better place, but that was a very expensive mistake, but a mistake I'm never going to make again. Sometimes experience 
doesn't have to be the most expensive teacher. So for you guys who want to come to Gamal's Mastermind, you'll have the benefit of not having to pay that price. So now you can accelerate even further. It's really important to work hard, but also play hard. And as you can see, and as you can hear, we're at Porsche Experience Atlanta. And this is an amazing experience where we get to throw ourselves around the track in a 911. Join us, come through. <laughs> End of the day, Bianca and Dave, members of the Exit Blueprint. How was today? Incredible. It was incredible. Best mastermind I've been to, and I've been to a lot. I've been to over 20 masterminds, hands down the best one. Bro, this is like the best experience that I've been to. Amazing. Good jam packed. Yes. Felt like we needed like another half day. I love how, this is not in a bad way, unstructured it was, because every session was, all right, give me all your hardest questions. And then we're just going to go through the questions instead of having a fixed agenda. I thought this weekend was phenomenal. Um, it was a wealth of information. And I think that, you know, everybody could serve to, like, attend something like this. I would definitely say that the bar was set high for this mastermind. It was like a spa day for me away from home and learning business at the same time while having fun. So that's a perfect combination.